Indiana Lee. All right, good afternoon. Uh, so before we start talking about impacting one billion lives, the F-50 team asked me to impact the people in this room. So for five seconds, stand up, get the cobwebs off. Let's go, stand up, stand up, stand up, let's go. Wake up, wake up. We're gonna talk about some very interesting technology and I want you all wide awake. All right, now looks like everyone's awake. We can go. All right, so my name is uh, William Santana Lee. I'm the chairman and CEO of Nightscope. I am not going to give you a normal investor pitch. I wanna talk to you about a very serious problem, which is securing our country. Crime has a $1 trillion negative economic impact on the US every single year. It's a hidden tax we all pay in blood, tears, and treasure. A violent crime occurs every 25 seconds, a property crime every four seconds. And just, if you think about the math, we've got two million law enforcement professionals and security guards trying to secure 320 million people across 50 states. It just doesn't add up. So, when a bloody awful thing shows up on your newsfeed, who gets fired, right? School gets shot up, corporate campus, movie theater, post office, synagogue, Who's accountable? No one literally gets fired. That's a problem. So why is that? So most people don't realize across the globe, the military and law enforcement and outside of the US is typically held at the national level. In the United States of America, that's not the case. The US Department of Defense has a $700 billion budget. There's one person in charge, the Secretary of Defense, there's a massive process and in infrastructure, and there's a Northrop, a Lockheed Martin, a Raytheon, a Boeing, to build you whatever widget you'd ever want. Submarine, jet fighter, uh, tank, uh, et cetera. What's really odd is two million people get up every morning on our own soil, willing to take a bullet for you and your family, and the level of technology that we provide to them as a country is beneath the dignity of this nation. And why is that? it's because it's structurally flawed. The US Department of Justice and the US Department of Homeland Security have no federal jurisdiction over 19,000 law enforcement agencies and 8,000 private security firms. There's no one in charge, there's no innovation process, there are no companies in the space, capital is massive starvation, and basically no innovation. So after the last 100 years, what's a security guard doing at three o'clock in the morning? Got the number two pencil out and a notepad. And then we wonder why we have a trillion dollar negative economic impact every single year. It's because there's no accountability, there's no process, there's no leadership. So, we have a slightly ambitious goal at Nightscope, is to make the United States of America the safest country in the world and literally change everything for everyone. And let's just suspend reality for a moment and let's say we're able to achieve that. Talk to me about the impact on housing prices, the impact on the volatility of financial markets, the municipality's budget, the insurance rates, the safety of your family, literally everything changes for everyone. So for the last five years, we've been working on a platform that's fully autonomous uh, to help provide these two million uh, brave women and men in uniform really smart eyes and ears for them to be able to do their jobs much more effectively. And it's a crazy combination of self-driving technology, robotics, uh, and AI. So, before we get into the technology, what have you done for me lately? Well, we helped a law enforcement agency issue an arrest warrant for a sexual predator. We helped another law enforcement agency uh, arrest an armed uh, gunman. We helped a security guard apprehend a thief in a retail establishment. We helped a, uh, stop a corporate vandal. We stopped a uh, fraudulent insurance claim, and the list goes on and on and on. So we've actually been able to build something that's useful for society. And I love this map. And the reason I love this map is no one else in the world can put it up. 80 plus billion dollars has gone into self-driving technology. There's 50 companies working on it. We're the only company in the world that we're aware of that's running 24 seven across 15 states, four time zones, fully autonomous with real paying clients and real contracts. Not some big R&D project, not waiting for some regulatory approval, this is live. And the other thing I love is our clients. So our clients are major corporate campuses like a Samsung, a Seagate, a TD Ameritrade, a Citizens Bank, or a BlackRock. 
uh, major automotive suppliers like Aphoresia, um, hospitals like Dignity Health and uh, Houston Methodist, uh, the LaGuardia Airport, the Sacramento Kings Stadium, anywhere indoors or outdoors you might see a security guard, it's kind of fair game. And we offer our technology on a machine as a service business model. Uh, I'm an ex-Ford Motor Company executive. Back in Detroit, we can barely co cover our uh, cost of capital, so we don't actually sell the hardware or the software. You're subscribing to a service. Uh, an off-duty law enforcement officer, plus or minus, is around $85 an hour. Armed, unarmed guard is around $25 an hour. Varies widely across the country. We offer our technology uh, on annual contracts running 24-7 and an effective price of six to $12 an hour. That gets really attractive for our clients. And with that uh, machine as a service business model, we provide them uh, a, a groundbreaking uh, browser-based user interface where they can then process the data. These machines generate 90 terabytes of data. There's no way a human's gonna be able to digest all of that. So we put that in a format that they can not only do live monitoring, but also do investigations and forensics. Uh, today, we can read 1,200 license plates a minute, run it against a database. We can pull a MAC address within anywhere, uh, within 500 feet of the machine. Um, we can run a thermal scan of the environment. Uh, so let's say you fired someone or you expelled a student from a school you can blacklist that license plate, you can blacklist that Mac, MAC address, and literally the machines are out there uh, on the lookout for that, uh, those detections. And this is just the beginning. Long term, we want these machines to be able to see, feel, hear, and smell. This is our fourth generation machine that we're starting to ship in 2019. Uh, fourth generation meaning we've operated more than a half a million hours with real contracts in real climates, both deserts, uh, we're going through our second uh, winter now, and we've got a lot of experience, and this is basically a clean sheet design uh, to address uh, some of the issues that we've seen out in the field. We also have a uh, smaller unit. Is, uh, this one's four foot tall, two foot wide, 340 pounds. Uh, this is primarily for indoors. Uh, we call them Captain Puerto Rico. We got our first contract for Puerto Rico. That'll add our fifth time zone for us to be operating in. Uh, this is our award-winning K1 stationary unit. Uh, that will uh, start putting uh, some interesting detections on there, including weapon detection. And uh, later uh, in the year, this is the alpha prototype of the K7. This is a multi-terrain vehicle that's able to handle much more difficult environments, gravel, dirt, sand, uh, et cetera. So the company started in 2013. Uh, this is what we were told. Hey, Bill, you're out of your mind. This will never work. Uh, two, you'll need $15 million to build the first prototype, and it probably won't work. Uh, it's hardware and software, it's too complicated. You should pick one. And then lastly, physical security is not an investment thesis, you need to go away. And 2019, here we are operating 24-7, 365, more than a dozen crime-fighting wins. We've raised over $40 million, stuck to our mission, and we're backed by 6,000 family offices and, and, and private investors, as well as four major corporations. Um, so. For the founders that are in the room, never ever let someone tell you no. So, please don't be 2013. How many people in this room believe that we need to do something to help our country and stop all this ongoing violence, et cetera? How many people believe that autonomous technology, robotics, and AI is gonna change the world? Then this is your chance to vote your conscience and vote your wallet. So you can literally go on to nightscope.com. We're not only disrupting the security space, we're disrupting how we finance technologies, especially in deep tech. You can literally go on to nightscope.com and buy into our pre-IPO offering. Uh, we're raising $50 million to get the company up to profitability. We reserved our ticker symbol on NASDAQ. It's gonna be KSCP, and you do not wanna be left behind. So you literally go tonight, or you can start on your mobile today at nightscope.com and buy in at eight bucks a share. Join us and be a force for good. Thank you.